Fellow problem solvers, thank you for tuning in. John East, Johan Oosthuizen, as you know, remember to share, like and subscribe. So today we're taking it further, quicker, by multiplying with a constant ratio. Stay tuned for more. Good day fellow problem solvers, hope you are doing well. So welcome to our next video, numeric patterns and specifically regarding constant ratio. So remember, the moment we talk about a constant ratio, the ratio in between consecutive terms has to be the same. And the key word with ratios is to multiply. We can look at divide as well, but we are focusing on multiplication. It's the best way to understand it. Let's look at example 1. To go from 6 to 18, and again from 18 to 54, and 54 to 162, you have to multiply with 3 every time. So for instance, let's look from 6 to 18. 6 times what will give you 18? And you all agree with me, we have to times by 3. If I say 18 times what will give me 54? It's again 3. And if we test ourselves again, 54 times what will give me 162? It's again 3. That means our constant ratio, for example, 1, will be equal to 3. Another way to look at this is to say, okay, 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. 54 divided by 18 is equal to 3. 162 divided by 18, uh, divided by 54 is equal to 3. Let's look at the second example to go from 600 to 300 to 150 to 75. Now over here we are dividing by 2. But remember we are writing the ratios down as multiplication. So to divide by 2 is the same as multiplying with a half. So 600 times a half is equal to 300. 300 times a half is equal to 150. 150 times a half is equal to 75. Therefore, we can say the constant ratio is equal to a half. So, let's look at the following example, example 3. Now, over here we've got 20 to 5. Now, understand, it's, as I've mentioned, we are actually dividing by 4 to go to 5. And from 5 to 5 over 4, it is divided by 4. From 5 over 4 to 5 over 16, it's also divided by 4. But we are writing this down as a ratio with multiplication, which means to multiply with a fourth or a quarter. It's the same as dividing by 4. Now, the last example, example 4. This is a more tricky one because you can see to go from 3 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 24, 24 to 48. Every time it's multiplying with 2. But the problem here is to get to 6, this is a negative 6. So we can't multiply with a 2. We have to multiply with a negative 2. Very important. But now if we say negative 6 times negative 2, remember a negative times a negative is a positive, And 2 times 6 is 12. So that will give us a positive 12. But now if we say 12 times negative 2, this will now give us negative 24. And we see the same pattern repeat itself. Negative 24 times negative 2 is 48. This means our constant ratio over here with this geometric sequence is negative 2. How do I identify this? If you see alternating signs like a negative 6, a positive 12, a negative 24, a positive 48. That's it for today. Uh, stay tuned for more and good luck with your preparation.